This morning's Coffee With is with Nate Torrance. And the satellite interview is furnished by Disney. Good morning, Nate Torrance, and great to have you. Hey, good to be here. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard applause. That is applause <laughs> just for you. So we're talking about the well, Disney. Awesome. Yeah, so we're talking about Disney's new film, animated film Zootopia, which looks really, really funny. It's about, you know, the city where animals are basically very human-like and this bunny named, um, named Judy. So tell us a little bit more about the plot. Yeah, yeah. So what's cool is there's a lot going on in this. You have like a buddy comedy feel to it, and then you have this beautiful, amazing world that the that Disney has created that is kind of face melting. <laughs> the animation is just beautiful. It really is beautiful. But um, but yeah. Um, also, you have then this kind of who done it that's going on, and that they're trying to find out. Um, some things are happening in Zootopia, and they have to find out uh, who's the who's behind it all. Um, yeah. So it, it, it's exciting. It's a lot of things. Action, comedy, uh, whatever you would want. It's 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 a uh, it's kind of in there. So tell us about your character, Clawhauser. Yes, I play Officer Benjamin Clawhauser, and um, I am the front desk um, worker at the Zootopia Police Department, and I am a kind of a husky cheetah, I guess is what you would call it. I'm a little chubby. <laughs> I haven't been running out in the savannah for quite some time, I guess. <laughs> but, um, but I become really good friends with Judy Hopps, who is the little bunny, Jennifer Goodwin's character, um, uh, as she becomes a new police officer on the force. Aren't cheetahs known for being incredibly fast? Yeah, exactly. You know, what's funny is um, uh, one of the parts that didn't actually make it into the movie was me running very fast for a very short amount of time, <laughs> but I still had it in me. <laughs> so when you're voicing your character, are you alone? Are you with people? You know, um, a lot of times with animation, you are alone mm -hmm. and you're in this like little glass booth, like a, a fishbowl that everyone looks in. But um, with Disney and um, specifically on this project, you know, uh, Byron and Rich and um, those are the directors of the movie and, and the writers, they would actually sometimes, you know, get in the booth along with other actors, fellow actors, and uh, kind of make this little very intimate, fun environment where you could be kind of crazy and, and go for it and not feel embarrassed. I I think that was the biggest thing is is being able to uh, just let it go and, and have fun with these characters. Yeah, let loose. So how much of Clawhauser did you get to have an, you know, any input on in terms of how he looked or sounded or what he said? Yeah, you know, looks how he, how he looks is definitely above my my pay grade. Those guys are amazing. <laughs> but what was cool was to watch the the art slowly come into the room as we would go f more and more into this process. So it was actually a four and a half year um, process to to for my character to create to be created in this film. And um, every time I go in, there'd be more things on the wall and and new scenes. And you know, a lot of the scenes. What, what's great about Disney is they're constantly writing. They're there's, there's maybe three movies worth of, uh, of scenes uh, that it took to create the movie you're about to see. And so in that, we do, we were able to find the character and they let us play a lot. And, and some of that is in the movie, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. And really impressive cast in addition to you, Idris Elba, Octavia Spencer, Shakira, and she gets to sing. Yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. She has a really great a single that is really going to take over. I think everyone's everyone's morning workout. Everyone will be <laughs> on a treadmill to Shakira. And <laughs> you know, these movies, they're for kids, they're for families, but they're so hilarious. They're so good for adults too. I mean, I saw Frozen and I was bawling at the end. I mean, these are good yeah. movies. Yeah, no, Disney's really kicked it up a notch on their last couple, and Zootopia fits right in with that, where they also are dealing with some themes I think people are really going to enjoy and take home, and, and, and it, it moves you. It moves you emotionally, um, and that's what's amazing, because who would have thought we'd be saying that about cartoons, you know, even 10 years ago, that, that those are going to have the most heart and have the most conversations afterwards. Yes, uh, it's so, so that's true. Exciting. It's so true. So do you have a little stuffed Clawhauser now that kind of sits at your desk or you carry oh, it around with I you? 
I have like, I, I bought them all. <laughs> like I didn't even wait for my box from Disney. I freaked out. Like I've got an action figure. I've got, I think there's five different stuffed animal claw housers and I have all of them. Yeah. I have two kids. So, um, so we have been on the hunt. <laughs> That's really cool. Really cool. Well, Nate, this movie looks, you know, so funny. It looks so great. So thanks so much for joining us to talk about Zootopia. Oh, thank you so much, Lynn. It was great to be here. Great to see you.